Stocks on Wall Street opened higher following a quiet day on Wall Street. Investors are keeping a close eye on the European Central Bank, waiting to see if it will make moves to bring down borrowing costs and try to contain Europe's debt crisis. And it was already the most valuable company in the world. And now Apple is the most valuable company in history with a market value of $623 billion. The company's stock has rocketed to $665 a share on reports of a new iPhone and a cheaper, smaller iPad. Apple is worth 54% more than the world's second richest company, ExxonMobil. And Apple is hoping a jury will rule in its favor in one of the biggest patent technology decisions disputes in history. Closing arguments are scheduled for today in the company's lawsuit against Samsung. If the jury finds in favor of Apple, Samsung could have to pay more than $2.5 billion and pull some of its smartphones and tablets off the market here in the U.S. And you can expect more Americans on the road this Labor Day weekend. According to AAA, 33 million Americans will be traveling over the holiday, and that's up nearly 3 percent from a year ago. And that road trip will cost you at the pump. Yesterday's gas prices hit an average of $3.72 a gallon. That's an all-time high for the month of August. And the NBA teams up with Ticketmaster. The two have partnered on a new website that will make it easier for fans to buy tickets to games and for fans to resell tickets. The site launches in October, just in time for basketball season. That's your Money Watch. For more, stay with CBSMoneyWatch.com. In New York, I'm Erica Ferrari.